Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope you've had a good weekend and going into our week now. Um, just so thankful to the Lord for his many blessings. And I want to encourage you with a psalm that I'm reading to you this morning. It's Psalm 37 about the righteous being blessed. And we have a lot of things changing in our world and seeing a lot of inflation and things happen where um, the way you once bought things, you just can't keep doing that now. Everyone will have to tighten their belts and adapt. But, you know, the Lord takes care of his people. He took care of the people when they walked out of Egypt. Some of them complained and murmured because it wasn't quite the way they wanted it. But the Lord was providing. We want to be careful at this time not to complain or murmur. And um, I've been thinking about Goshen, and I actually have a um, video from two years ago that's called Goshen that is actually very timely for what we are going through now, the parallels uh, from the people leaving Egypt and, um, well, really from uh, Joseph when he is sent there and he provides for the people of Egypt actually is what I was thinking about in that one. But Goshen was a place of provision. Goshen was where they landed to be provided for in a strange country. <clears throat> but the Lord had established one of them to oversee things. So the Lord knows how to take care of his people, and we've got to just trust him for that. I think this psalm helps us recognize things that are going on today and yet hold to the Lord that he has promises that we aren't in those promises fully now yet but they are coming and we look for the joy that's beyond this life this world is not our home our home is in heaven with the lord jesus psalm 37 fret not thyself because of evil doers neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. So there's a promise that trust in the Lord, you shall be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Seize from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet for a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. <clears throat> Excuse me. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Let's read that one again. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. 
but the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Now there is a uh, scripture to hold on to and to repeat to the Lord. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Praise God. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on your own understanding. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My prayers are with those that um, are in turmoil. Those that are... Uh, thinking in their own mind what they should do. We just need to be cautious now. You know, there is a way that seems right in a man's heart, but the end thereof is destruction. We want to make sure the Lord's leading us, the Lord's ordaining everything that we do, because in our own mind we can think we are thinking righteously and having good judgment and... Um, decide how we're going to do things. But the Lord says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So let's keep that in mind as we go forward because we are in these times where uh, we see the wrong and we would like to right the wrong. But let's wait on the Lord. Be very cautious. Make sure he is in all of our decisions right now. I do hope you go back and look at my... Uh, video from two years ago, Goshen. It's a good word for right now. And uh, the word <clears throat> of God never gets old. But that word was for the times we were going into, we are still in. And I think it will encourage you if you have time to look at it. Well, I hope you have a blessed assurance in your soul that you are saved. You're ready to be with the Lord when he comes to take you, be it by death or rapture, and uh, we look forward to the coming of the Lord, to being with our Lord forevermore, but he is with us right now. We are never alone. He promised never to leave or forsake us. He is with us, and he is for us. He is for the righteous, and he is watching over you. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchased of God, born of his spirit, 
I'm washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. No, I can't sing this morning because I got the throat thing going on. But I am praising the Lord with everything that is within me. We have a blessed assurance and hope in the Lord. And he promised that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He knows how to keep us as long as we want to be kept by him. So let's stay close to the Lord and remain faithful. My prayers are over those that are in turmoil, that are hurting. You know, I went in, uh, I've got a knee injury, so I can't go in the big grocery stores and walk around. So I go in Dollar General where I just have a little ways to walk to grab a few things. And, um, you know, I cook for my family on Friday nights. Usually that's my one night a week to fix a good you know, meat meal, etc. So I was thinking I was going to have roast. <clears throat> well, a small roast in there was $25. So we're not having roast. <laughs> That's not happening. So anyway, the prices are going up and up. And, um, you know, I was just amazed a few things. I got what the price tag was on it. And um, you've just got to adapt, adjust make it stretch. We have good food, but we're not going to be able to buy <coughs> expensive meats. It's getting um, thinned out. It's getting thinned out, so um, we have to make a plan for our families. And you know, my plan, I had actually started before I went and got that meat. I had a meatless week. I thought, well, I need to drop some pounds we are getting in food shortages, and I, we're going to have to stretch the food I do have on hand more and more. So just for me, you know, um, I decided I would <clears throat> make sure I was eating things in my refrigerator, not letting anything go to waste. So I did a week of that and kept my calories around 1,200 a day because I need to lose weight. And um, usually I'm trying to do the keto diet or something, which you know, we're eating meat on that keto diet, so we've got to adjust, so <coughs> anyway, I ate well and ate a variety of things I don't normally eat, and uh, the Lord is just providing for us, it's all good, we're in the hands of the Lord, I love you, Jesus loves you more, be blessed, Acts 2.38, if you need to give your heart to the Lord, repent, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus loves you so much. Make sure you get in his arms. I love you. Be blessed.